under a pergola or in an open area. Large format units or large scale slabs, drainage is always a concern. Using a surface drain or a catch basin style drain and contouring the water into it with these relief cuts will take the water down and out into the environment, a pop-up or a dry well. Drainage solutions in our pool deck are very important. We're gonna start with area drains. We have 12 inch, 10 inch and eight inch. We have metal and PVC. We have decorative and slotted. We've even textured painted a couple of these to give the clients some ideas. This one has already been textured painted. It's a catch basin. And this one is adjustable up and down. Now we can also use channel drains, transitioning from our pool coping to this eventual patio area. We can start with a slot style or trough drain. That's this one right here. This white lid is left on during the installation. We put some protective tape just to keep debris out of it. Once we're installed and we have the right pitch that we want on that trough style, positive gravity flow of water to a dry well or a pop-up drain, we can take these lids off and this metal unit will go on top. Now you can see we've already textured painted that top and it's one half inch wide. That makes it ADA compliant. So water can run down in there. It'll be installed about one quarter inch lower than the chamfer on our paving slabs on either side. We also have one, three, and five inch options. The one, well, they require a lot of maintenance, not my favorite. This three inch has a nice decorative cover. I like that. This five inch unit has already been textured, painted, and protected for installation. We'll see if that's the one that we're gonna use. This one is very attractive with a slotted style top. We've already painted it in the grade nickel color. You can see the PVC pipes for positive flow water out into the reservoir under our permeable pavement, a dry well or a pop-up drain. Now the pitch from our coping to that drain will be one quarter inch per foot. And you can see that in this four foot area, we have one inch of fall to our drain. With the amount of impervious space restrictions there are, in order to get a large poolscape makeover project, sometimes you need to add permeable pavements. We've done that, we've got our building permit, everybody's happy, we're ready to build. Drainage redundancies are a citywide mandate due to recent flooding. With the municipal engineer's written authorization, our contractor has modified the cross section of our segmental permeable pavement. Our units here are our mica pavers in onyx black. We'll start with the scarification of the subgrade. Scarifying it opens up the surface, increases the amount of area water can infiltrate into. We'll amend that clay subgrade with a number eight stone. It's a quarter inch clean stone. It will catch first flush debris before it clogs our soil. On top of that, we'll use our GF5 woven geotextile by Alliance. Gives a strength and soil separation characteristics. Our base is gonna be an ASTM number 57's quarter inch, half inch clean stone, about four inches thick. Because this area mirrors the area on our vehicular traffic application, we're gonna use the 3030 by axial grid from Alliance intermittently to give it strength. Do we need it in this pool deck? Not necessarily, but we're keeping it the same throughout our installation. On top of that, have an exfiltration pipe, a PVC pipe, holes down four inches, completely encapsulated with four inches of clean stone. Water will bypass in a major rain event, will infiltrate into the soil. If it were to back up, it will get into that pipe, into a dry well right in this planting area. On top of that, We'll put another four inches of clean stone. Very little compactive effort is needed on that material. Because of the range of particles of our base and bedding layer, we chose a GF 4.4 non-woven geotextile to separate them. That will resist any migration of our bedding layer into our base. We're doing that in all our vehicular traffic applications and here under pedestrian traffic load. Our bedding layer, again, is ASTM number eight. It's a quarter inch clean, 
less than 5% passing the 200 sieve, 90% fractured face. Our units are the Mica in Onyx Black. That's clean block technology. You can see the water beating on the surface. There's even an additive that makes this safe for ambulation. Kids and families running around this pool having fun, this will be skid resistant. That's awesome. It meets and exceeds all the world standards for compression strength, absorption rate, and freeze thaw durability. Once that's done, we'll be able to install our edge restraint. We can use an extreme edge, poly modified fiber reinforced edging. That's probably what we'll use against this bedding area or a hybrid edge with hybrid wedge shaped spikes on this side, just to restrain the units until our pair of slabs come in. Our joint fill will be the Alliance Aqua Rock. It's an ASTM number nine stone. We're gonna fill those joints, consolidate the joint fill with a roller compactor from Bartel Global. Once that's done, we'll have a carefree permeable pavement for these clients for life.